Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to the latest video and the story of this video newsletter, well, we're going to talk about what's the most important role and responsibility for senior management. Okay, so here's the title. Senior management. Roles and responsibilities. Obviously I visit many, many companies, many, many clients. These are manufacturing companies, so let's be straight about that. I, I major in helping manufacturing companies. Um, to sort out their technical day-to-day -day quality problems. And I must admit, normally I'm dealing with engineers, maybe technicians, etc. Um, and pretty much engineers and technicians, when I teach them what I want to teach them about Six Sigma, they get it and they know how to make the process perform as they would want it to be. But the biggest problem we have, the biggest problem in most companies are these fine folks here, the senior management. I don't usually uh, concern myself too much with senior management, but maybe I should spend more time doing this. So I'm gonna give out a piece of advice for senior management. Uh, hopefully some people are gonna be watching this. What's your biggest role and responsibility? What should be number one on your role and responsibility when you walk through the door every single day? And here it is, it's one word. If I could give you one piece of advice, what your job is, what your biggest role and responsibility is, it's maintenance. And if I could also give you one strong piece of advice about what your role and responsibility is, is definitely not it's making things you are not there to make stuff ultimately as a senior manager you are non value added waste you make no money for the company whatsoever you are as far from making company far from making money as you could possibly be you could go and play golf all day and we would not miss you so here's the first thing. You are not to concern yourself with the next five minutes. If you run a manufacturing company and there's 400 people in your organization, you probably have 350 of them who are concerned with the next five minutes. They are obsessed with it and they literally can focus on nothing else. And that's where you help them because your job is to not focus on what they're focusing on, it's to focus on what's riding over the hill. The, the, the lack of maintenance, the deterioration in the process. Now I don't mean just equipment maintenance, I mean standards maintenance. So this would include equipment maintenance, but it isn't exclusively what you're up to. Now, to be quite honest, the first thing you should have done is worked and forced your organization to implement fantastic standards, rules about how often you maintain things, what, what is acceptable product, what is unacceptable product, things like this, what is acceptable to the way the workplace is organized, what is acceptable to the stock level that should be on the shop floor, maximums, minimums, 
the way that a uh, material is bought, maximums and minimums, you should first set the rules. But once you've set the rules, you should make sure, because everybody's obsessed on the next five minutes, that you pull them back and you keep them focused on the things that they would never look at. Things that you've got time, you're sitting in an armchair, relaxed. Things that you've got time to look at. And it's standards maintenance. So for example, if we talk about equipment. So that's what we tend to think about when we think about maintenance. If a maintenance routine is supposed to have happened, but we got too focused on the next five minutes and we didn't do it. Oil that wasn't changed, a rubber gaiter that wasn't replaced because we didn't have time to do it. Things like that. Um, maintenance that is very consumable, filters that are getting blocked, resetting certain things that you know come under pressure for production. When you're doing equipment, what you do is you give the, the operators and the people that are focused on production, you give them permission to stop and put this right. So in other words, if anybody violates a standard, you say, now stop the machine, do the maintenance. So you're taking a step back. You're not interested in the next five minutes. Workplace organization. If you see workplace organization deteriorating, you do the same thing. If you see that we, we don't have enough stock in a particular area, if you see labels beginning to fall off things, things that have become worn, what you do is you walk up to the team leaders, you walk up to the managers, you point that out and you tell them to get the standard back to where it should be. And you do that for everything. You make standards, you visualize them, and then you force everybody to follow them. And you're worrying about not the next five minutes, you're worrying about the next five days and the next five months. Because your operation personnel definitely won't do that. And if you concentrate on maintenance, you will make pots and pots of cash because your production facilities will always sing every day and hit targets that you want to hit. This is the most important thing you can concentrate on. Now, it's not the only thing you should be concentrating on, but if I could give you one piece of advice, maintenance. Maintenance of standards is a key senior management role and responsibility. And just to finish off, when I work for Sony, my managing director, Mike Rigby. Mike, if you're out there, hello. You used to annoy the crap out of me, by the way, every day. But Mike would come onto my line. I don't remember him ever talking to me about numbers. He never talked to me about the next five minutes. Mike would walk onto my line and he would challenge me about my standards. He would challenge me about my deteriorating maintenance on my line and he would challenge me to sort it out and then he would walk off the line. Now I just made 2,000 tellies and I thought I was king of the castle. I'd had a great day, but Mike wasn't interested in the next five minutes. He was interested in the next five days and the next five months because he knew that if he allowed my line to deteriorate like that, in five days time, we wouldn't be making 2,000 tellies. And in five months time, we wouldn't be making anything at all because he was focused on this. That is the senior management priority, role and responsibility. If you do that, you'll make pots and pots of cash.